What's going on everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Glad to see your smiling faces. This is the Magic Keyboard with Touch ID from Apple. It is technically a new release. We've all seen Magic Keyboards. This one is actually really similar to the last editions. However, it does have uh, some new updates. I'm gonna be unboxing it and showing you everything that comes in the box, all the cool things that you get with this keyboard. Now, before I do get into the video, I'm gonna kindly ask you guys at home to hit the subscribe button if you find this video useful. On the channel I do a lot of talks surrounding tech and a lot of Apple products so if you like that kind of thing make sure to subscribe and if that is not enough I'm doing a giveaway of either a HomePod mini or a MagSafe power bank all you gotta do is be a subscriber and comment down below something related to the video and that's it you're entered let's get into the unboxing so this is the packaging that the Magic Keyboard with Touch ID comes in. Pretty basic, nothing crazy, standard Apple plain design. You get a picture of the keyboard here. No one really cares about this, so let's get into the unboxing. But before I do, just wanted to show you the back. Pretty basic, so much so that the camera is not even in focus. But there is a pull tab right here, which is under plastic. So I'm gonna get some scissors and hopefully not ruin this. So, yep, there you go. And here we go. Let's open the pull tab. Move it to the side. And as I mentioned, there is the pull tab here. So let's go ahead and pull it out of the box. Now here is the magic keyboard. So it's pretty long. I'm gonna take it out the other plastic, but before I do, just wanted to show you what else comes in the box. So it looks like a braided USB-C to lightning cable or lightning to USB-C, however you wanna call it. Take this out the packaging as well, just so I can show you the cord. Uh, as I mentioned, it is a braided cable here. So it is more durable than normal. This is probably like uh, three feet in length so a pretty good size and i'm liking that apple has decided to make cables more durable you also in the box get the typical manuals that you'll get with apple products so no stickers here i believe so yep there's no stickers with this product but you do get a manual and that is pretty much it in terms of the content of the box nothing else to it let's show you the keyboard okay so more plastic, which you ASMR lovers are gonna like. Let's take this off. Highly satisfying. And yeah, this is the keyboard. So something I do wanna point out is that this keyboard only comes in silver. There's no other colorway for this keyboard from Apple. I also wanna point out the Touch ID button, which is right here. So if you want to quick access to your computer, then you'll get it by using your finger, of course, through Touch ID and just like that, pretty easy. Also, there's the globe key here for changing languages. It is also the function key, I'm guessing by the FN. At the back here, you do get a lightning port. Uh, so this charges via lightning. Also is a curved design. In the past, the keyboards were more square, but on this one, the magic, the new Magic Keyboard, it is more of a curved design all around. It's just kind of circular going around the edges here. It also has a full function row. So all of your quick shortcuts, you have access to cool things like brightness, uh, recording, play, pause, rewind, turning up the volume, lowering the volume, muting, and pretty much the standard uh, function row key that you can expect with the other Magic Keyboards. Now, in terms of the feel of this guy, it feels kind of sturdy. It is really flat if you were to put it down. Uh, a lot of people, including myself, love using keyboard to an angle. It just feels better when you're typing. But with this one, it is definitely flat. And there are no tabs at the back in order to keep it at an angle. So that's something to keep in mind. I feel like all Apple keyboards are like that though. Let's do a quick typing test just so you can hear how it sounds. Don't 
does feel it feels good i mean i'm somebody that loves mechanical keyboards so this right here is not really something that i typically go for i do like the clackiness of mechanical keyboards and the sound that it makes it's very satisfying uh, but on this it does sound good but it's just the feel of it i'm not too impressed with it but that's just my personal taste you might like this so you get your quick access to your numbers. If you do a lot of data input, this is super important. So it is a good little feature to have. It's actually very slim. It's not too thick. I mean, look at an iPhone compared to it. It's not really that much thicker than an iPhone in terms, especially the new iPhone 12s with the square design of those. So I do like that this thing is super slim. So this is it in comparison to a mechanical keyboard that I have lying around. So as you can see, it's super slim. Something that I should point out is that you can actually use this with an iPad, of course, through Bluetooth. You can also connect it with the cable that it comes with. However, you can't use Use the touch ID with an iPad um, it only works with the M1 Max but generally speaking I do think this is a nice feeling keyboard I don't know if it's worth it at 179 but I got to use it for a little bit before I make that judgment feels good and accessing your computer quickly is something that you don't want to understate so something I actually should point out is that this keyboard and all the the new Apple keyboards only work with the M1 capable devices so it doesn't work with the old Intel Macs if you have one of those definitely the touch id is not going to work i think it, some of the key functions will still work i'll be testing that out soon so if you have any questions make sure to drop them down below for my full review if you're into that and don't forget to subscribe thank you guys so much for watching i'm gonna see you guys in the next one peace